Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel here. This is Daniel Rose, and I'm going to do a video today about testing your hard drive, something extremely important. Uh, backup and data protection and all that good stuff are uh, very, very important topics to me. Just to quickly say, I'm using Ubuntu 2010, that's why I have my terminal up here. It's not the, I think it's one of the long-term support LTS releases, uh, which is why it's not the latest Ubuntu. I think they're on something like 22 now. Uh, I decided a while back that I want to stick with LTS releases, but I don't think any of this stuff has, has really uh, significantly changed in, 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 in the meantime. Um, now regarding SMART testing, SMART stands for, if I can find it here on my screen somewhere, SMART Monitoring, Analysis and Reporting Testing. This is basically a, um, now I'm not a hardware or a firmware guy, but I'm just gonna give my basic understanding of this. It needs to be supported on the actual storage media, the disks, themselves and then the operating system can read their self-reported data now for instance when I go into my laptop which has an NVMe type SSD storage this is my desktop computer and actually it's a bummer because I'm much more interested in knowing the health of my laptop which only has one drive than my desktop because if you know this if a drive blows out on my desktop I can recover pretty easily uh, by buying a new drive and I take regular backups using Clonezilla, which everyone should be doing. But if I'm on business travel and my laptop goes kaput, I'm in a world of pain and uh, that can really compromise my ability to work. So this is what smart testing is about. It's not about saying, oh, I see that my hard drive or my SSD is starting to break because I'm booting into Ubuntu and I'm getting all these errors. It's about periodically, proactively running these checks and at the first sign of failure, then that's when you wanna move in. And what would moving in be? If it were me, I would first, first my first move, if it was getting any indication of a failing drive, back up the system. Clonezilla is your friend in this regard, amazing, amazing program. Then I would go out and buy a new replacement drive. I might even use a chance to upgrade the capacity and I would move the data from the failing drive onto the new drive and there you are, put that in the computer and swap out and you're back in action. You've, got, you've just bought yourself uh, more time because that's the thing with flash drives, storage like SSD and HDD, they're all gonna eventually fail. So you're just trying to buy yourself time against data loss as an insurance policy. And it's a lot cheaper to buy a new hard drive than it is to lose all your data when your hard drive fails and or you have to either lose the data or try to bring it to something like a data recovery specialist, a lot, lot cheaper to just buy a new disc. disc. Discs have come down in price a lot. So anyway, uh, using this utility disc, there is a way to um, you know, check out your smart data by just clicking here. A lot of people don't know this. I've been using discs for, I've been using Ubuntu for 14 years. I never saw there was a little smart data thing until uh, about a year ago, but it is right there. Just pop up here. It's not under volumes because when you think about it, you're not interested in the health of a, of a partition, you, you're caring about the health of the actual disk. So click on, click onto the uh, things here, smart data and self-tests. And this is really the key thing, overall assessment disk is okay, but it's quite amazing how granular the data that you're gonna be getting out of this stuff is. Like, look at this, power cycle count, 4717. The computer actually logs how many times you've turned on this disk along with the computer, right? Now you can re manually rerun self-test. And you can see I've got three options here, short, extended, and conveyance. A conveyance, I believe, is designed to, to look for errors that occurred as the thing was uh, in transit. Extended is more extended testing. Someone, asks, someone asked on uh, one of the Ubuntu forums, is it safe? Does running tests actually, ironically, it would be, degrade the disk? The answer was technically yes, because all usage of the computer degrades the disk um, or ages the disk, but not beyond regular usage basically. So if your disk is healthy, this is when you're supposed to be running these things. And you don't need to go crazy. I don't think there'd be any point running these smart tests every single day, but you know, once a month and they're running anyway. So you just, you really need to check them periodically. Or as I said, if you're going on a business trip, that's when I would really recommend quickly, a week before your trip, test the disk, see that it's okay, and you might avoid yourself a major headache um, down the road. So the second way you can do all this business is going, is, a pro, is another GUI. 
It's called G Smart Control. What I like about G Smart Control is that uh, they ask you for pseudo permission. You didn't see it because it was in my other screen. They ask for pseudo permission at the start, so um, you don't need to give it each time because think to, to when you're asking the operating system to communicate on such a low level with the hardware, you're going to need elevated permissions. So that's uh, that's par for the course. Now, what you can do here. And I get myself confused because I've got four drives in this thing. I've got a backup drive. I've got a media volume for storing all my video clips. I have a uh, Ubuntu drive and I have a window bare metal drive for the rare and horrific times that I need to actually use Windows. Now, uh, you can do reread data. I'm going to use this one or you can perform your tests. Now, what I like about G Smart Control, unlike disks, is that it tells you what you're doing, right? It tells you. Can give we can run a short and extended test it doesn't do conveyance uh, and it gives you an estimated duration as well which i also appreciate so you can kind of know how long you might need to sit with your thing for the extended one takes 10 minutes the short one takes two minutes let's just do a short one so that i can uh, you can uh, on, you only have two more minutes of my company to to tolerate um, but it says note that this test is in no way comprehensive its main purpose is to detect totally damaged drives so, you know, if this were me again, I come back to that scenario of going on a business trip, uh, I'd probably be running for the, for the sake of running of, uh, you know, 10 more minutes, I'd go for the extended test. We can see we're already 20% through uh, the testing process. So I'll just uh, sing songs for the next two minutes or something like that. Um, so, yeah, as I said, for certain storage media, NVMe, it seems as if this is a problem. Um, I spent about five minutes looking for solutions. It said to install an NVMe CLI and that would sort it out on one of these Ask Ubuntu threads. It didn't, that didn't work for me. Um, I couldn't find it in the repositories. So I'm going to be spending a bit more time tonight trying to uh, sort this out. And if I figure out a solution to, I'll be able to run these tests on my NVMe SSD, uh, then I will go ahead and, uh, and do that. Um, there's a few more stuff. There's a few more things in smart mon tools. Um, this, these aren't the only ones for Ubuntu Linux. I'm sure I'm only you know scratching the surface in terms of the tools that are available. By the way, what I would recommend, I've talked on this channel about dumping stuff onto HDD enclosures for cold archival storage. Now, to the best of my knowledge, there is no tool in Synology DSM for doing smart data checks on external drives, which is a big pity. Um, I'm not sure if you can hook up a enclosure to an Ubuntu machine and uh, run it like this. I don't know, but again, I will be checking and reporting back on my findings because uh, that's basically, again, if you're using it for archival, uh, that's the kind of thing that you want to know about. Not when the failure is happening, but before any disk rot, data rot, bit rot starts uh, threatening the integrity of your data. Uh, you can see here my test has completed without errors, but it was a short two minute test and I'm going to do the extended one now to just drill a little bit deeper, uh, but I can do that uh, after hitting the stop button. So those are the two, I would say, key GUIs I found on Ubuntu for testing the health of your hard drive. Definitely recommend running them periodically and again, as I said, or try to emphasize the purpose of these things is really preventative maintenance. It's not remedial maintenance. You want to do this before uh, you find any errors and i also recommend it especially before as i said you're traveling or any time where murphy's rule might apply you know the, when things go wrong they go wrong at the worst possible time thanks for watching this video if you want to get more videos from me feel free to subscribe to this youtube channel have a great day